have been trying for years to get this good looking man in my kitchen. This is Stratton Leopold. Stratton runs Savannah's most famous ice cream parlor, y'all, Leopold's Ice Cream. So for dessert, we're making homemade waffle cones for Leopold's famous ice cream, and we're gonna be topping it with his sinfully sweet huckleberry sauce. <laughs> We're making a salmon burger with a sesame mayonnaise that's so good, Stratton can barely contain himself. I'm getting weak in the knees, it's so good. Mm. Then it's the crispiest Parmesan garlic potato chips you'll ever eat. But first, we're gonna be starting with a yummy corny coleslaw. so busy. Why are you never here? Well, I have a couple of jobs. I have a day job in, in the ice cream business that my dad had started back in 1919, but more importantly, I have a job in the motion picture business. I produce movies. A lot of big movies. Mission Impossible 3 was the last one, so... That's kind of a big movie, <laughs> isn't it, y'all? <laughs> so, first dish we're gonna make is a corny cold slaw. Mm. Stratton is peeling our three carrots while I'm getting started on a half a head of cabbage and I'm just slicing it real, real thin, mm -hmm. kind of shredding it. So what made your family such wonderful ice cream makers? Well, my dad immigrated from Greece uh -huh. when he was 11 years old to this country with his older brother, Michael George, and they initially went to Indiana where they had an uncle there who was in the candy and ice cream business. Mm -hmm. And there he learned candy and ice cream with that uncle. Their sister married and came to Savannah and then, of course, the family said, well, you must move down here. The sister misses you and this, and they ultimately did. <laughs> My father fought in the First World War. Then when he got back, they opened the store. And they used the knowledge they had gained in um, Indiana. In Indiana. Yes, to, to start the ice cream. All right, I'm gonna just take all this and put it in the okay. bowl. We can throw your carrots in and the bowl. And here's some carrots here we'll put in. Okie doke. While you're doing that, I've got my purple cabbage. And uh, the purple cabbage gives it such wonderful color. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shred up about a half a head of this as well. All right, I'm gonna take a few of your carrots. So, so, so we've Paul, got our cabbages, yes, we've got right. our carrots. Okay, let's make a little room Thank here for that. Thank you so much. Put that right there. I'm gonna stick that right there. I've still got to um, grate a little onion strat. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask while I'm doing this if you would make the sauce of for Of course, our of course I will. Coleslaw. And it's so simple, just eyeball like two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of cumin, a little bit of my house seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic powder, the juice of one lime, three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And okay. all you have to do is just whip that okay. together. And I'm adding one chopped onion. Mm -hmm. But now I'm fixing to add the ingredient that makes this corny coleslaw. And oh. that's a can of whole kernel corn. Now, if you got some fresh corn around, mm -hmm. you can ball a couple of ears and cut them off. But I don't happen to have fresh corn, so I'm going to use this canned corn, and it's going to work out perfectly. So I'm just gonna drain that corn, and I'm gonna toss this in. And a little wet goes a long way, y'all, with coleslaw. So we might not need every bit okay. that you've done up straight. There you are. Oh, thank you, that's lovely. So look how pretty, that's ready, and um, you know, we can't have lunch without a potato, can we? We certainly cannot. So I'm going to do some Parmesan and garlic potato chips. Mm. Have you ever used a mandolin? No. Mm. Well, this is, this is real handy, and it can be a lot faster. Okay. And you just do them like that, and that's all okay. you have to do. And we're going to deep fry these, y'all. I can't uh, wait. That sounds great. Oh, they're going to be delicious. There's nothing better than a... Homemade potato chip. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks good. Okay, so tell everybody how you make that wide stretch <laughs> from ice cream maker to producing to movies. To producing <laughs> movies. Well, both are, are great. I mean, they're they're gratifying and great businesses to be in. 
The film business is, is a very high pressure business. The ice cream business, in Savannah especially, it's a very grounding business. Uh -huh. I, I literally start scooping ice cream and, and just meeting with, with, with customers. So you get behind the oh, camera? Oh yes, oh definitely. Making milkshakes, scooping, of course. I grew up doing that. I started when I was 12. What's your favorite? I like I, I change, a transition. It's OK, honey. Go ahead and teach your horn about your ice cream. It's a great ice cream. My dad devised the recipe back in 1919. It's an all-natural ice cream made with an amazing amount of fresh cream, cane sugar. We don't use chemicals in it. For instance, to emulsify it, a lot of companies will, will use a chemical. I use egg yolks. Really? Yes, and it does a wonderful job with it. All right, now, while I'm frying these, you want to take our, our dry things that we're going to sprinkle our potatoes sure. with okay. Stratton and just put a couple of tablespoons of, the of cheese. Parmesan cheese okay. Okay. and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a little bit of black pepper. Okay. So that's good. Look at these chips. They mm. are really, really looking good. We've got one basket that I think's ready, don't you? Looks great. I yeah. don't like mine too dark. Mm. So I'm gonna kinda just shake that off, dump it right there. Now we're gonna wanna immediately sprinkle this while they're still wet from the fryer so that that'll stick. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Doesn't Ooh, that, that look great. delicious? Oh my goodness. I want you I'm to gonna, have one. I'm going to have to steal one and try it. Now, some people like, they're funny about their chips. Some people like chips like that, where they're kind of attached uh -huh. to each other and you still see a little bit of white. Uh -huh. Some like them more like this, where they're like totally crispy. So you reach in there. I'm going to try one of each. I'll try this one first. OK. Mmm. It's delicious. It is good. Delicious. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm -mm. Coming up, y'all, it's a scrumptious salmon burger with a sesame mayonnaise. I'm getting a little warm here. Excited. Oh, are you? Yeah, you're very excited. <laughs> then it's homemade waffle cones and a mouth-watering huckleberry topping to go with Stratton's famous ice cream. Gosh, you do it just like I like it. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm in the kitchen with Stratton Leopold. Savannah legend, y'all. Oh, oh. When you come to Savannah, you've got to come to his ice cream parlor. Just around the corner to Lady and Son. To the Lady and Son. An easy walk. It is a very easy walk. And you need that walk after you've eaten at my place, I'll to tell have, you. Have so. my <laughs> Well, the next thing we're preparing, y'all, is a salmon burger. Now, you have taken two pounds of salmon there, and you are mincing that up because this is almost going to be like a salmon croquette. But instead of using canned salmon, we're using a fresh salmon. This visit here with me, you're really <laughs> honing up your chopping My skills, My chopping and aren't grating you? skills, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need about a half a cup of red bell pepper. Half a cup of yellow. Couple of cloves of garlic and some Japanese mm. breadcrumbs. Well, listen, now that you've finished showing that salmon who's the boss yeah. around here, why don't you mix up some things okay. that we're gonna need to add to our salmon burgers, Definitely. and that would be uh, one egg. Okay, should I mix it in here? Yeah, you can just egg? mix it in there. We need one egg, a teaspoon of fresh lemon okay. juice, a tablespoon of soy, and a pinch of salt. All right, now to my ingredients, Stratton, I'm gonna add a half a cup of pan cup. These are Japanese breadcrumbs. Huh. It's so good. They're real, real crunchy. Mm -hmm. And this is going to bind our burgers okay. together. Okay, and about a tablespoon of soy, you said? Yes. And some salt oak, right? Is yeah. That a pinch? And I'm going to take the two pounds of salmon. And depending on how much moisture comes out of our salmon, I may have to add a little bit more breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? I think 
a I little think, too wet? Uh huh. I, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more bread crumbs. Okay. So that gives us about three fourths of a cup total. I've got our griddle over here uh -huh. hot. So my hands are kind of mushy. If you would spray our griddle. All right, now we're just gonna form our salmon burgers, but you can jump in here okay. and, and help me make these. And you can make them any size you want. I'm gonna serve this on bun, so, you know, I'm gonna make it kind of bun size. Mm -hmm. So on our skillet, ooh, you got a nice big fat one. You might wanna compress it when you're forming it so it'll like stay together. Got it. Because this may cause us a little bit of problem when we go to flip it. Oh, we can flip it fast. Yeah. <laughs> You'll want to, there you go. Make a little room there. Yeah. Okay, go. There you go. I think we can squeeze in one more. Yeah, here. I don't know about you, but I need to wash my hands. Yeah. Good idea. And Stratton, I want you to notice something. One of my favorite things in my kitchen. My grandmother was in the restaurant yes. business. My grandmother and grandfather. Mm -hmm. And you see it's dated yes. 1945. Oh, that is It's great. two years older than me. That is great. And my grandmother used this spatula in the restaurant at River Bend, mm. where I have such fond memories. That is, that is lovely. Look at that strap. That looks, yeah. And you see, that was probably ready. I yeah. was, I was able to tell when it was ready because it starts getting light. Or lighter, like, like right in uh -huh, here, around the edges. Uh -huh. So that'll let you know when this is ready to be okay. turned. So you take over that, and I will make up our sauce. I'm gonna make a little sesame mayonnaise. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. about a cup of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of soy sauce, and about a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Mm. I've got a question, Stratton. What's, the, what's that for? Would you like to make a movie of a cookbook? Yeah. You, you, do you have any ideas which cookbook? Let me think. It would be nice if it was like a local girl. Oh, a it? Savannah story. Oh, let's what, do what, it. Let's do it. What a great idea. Let's do okay. It. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is just working out lovely. Yeah, it's perfect. Coming up next, Stratton has brought a special tool for our homemade waffle cones. Pizzelli. Pizzelli. Little Italian. And later, that huckleberry topping that's out of this world. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. all about a lunch break. It's going to be a great lunch, isn't this it? This is going to be a great lunch. I have mixed us up, y'all, some sesame mayonnaise to top off our salmon burgers. Lettuce, Lettuce. tomato. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm. Doesn't that look delicious? That me, looks Let me hold that up. So look at that. So Does, delicious. Doesn't that look phenomenal? Phenomenal. Look at that. I'm starting wow. to swallow hard. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little warm here. Get excited. Oh, yeah, get very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, too. All right, a little coleslaw. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A few potato chips. Uh -huh. And it's lunchtime. All right, let's go in for okay. it. Okay. I think I'll taste the coleslaw first. Delicious. Mm. The corn. Mm -hmm. Taste the mm -hmm. corn. Mm -hmm. The sweetness of the corn. Mm. Mm. Right here we go. Here we go. Mm. 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 Like perfect. This is great. Congratulations. It's lovely. Well, thank it's you, delicious. Darling. Well, I want to go ahead and move on. Okay. And we're going to make a waffle cone for uh. your wonderful ice cream. I've got our little machine right here, Stratton, and it's not going to take us. But just a second to put this together, 
I'm going to use a half a cup of sugar. Uh -huh. You can crack those eggs for so me. So crack them the same way I did them before? Any way, however you express yourself. Okay. okay. Oh, great. <laughs> great. All right, now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla huh. flavoring. And in go the three eggs that you've cracked. All right, now you just beat that okay. until it's kind of creamy. And I've got one stick of butter back here Ooh. that we're going to add to our sugar and egg mixture. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to beat that till it's, you know, nice and creamy and kind of yellow in color. Why don't you let me be beaten in? Okay. You can come on down here and mix together our dry ingredients. If you would just mix up two thirds a cup of flour, I have that. About a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Just enough cinnamon to kind of just a give it that same. little flavor. Yeah. A pinch of salt. Just dump it over here okay. in my buttery Ooh, sugar. Oh yeah. Mixture. It looks delicious. Okay, here you go. Here's some. Perfect. A little more. And just that quickly, y'all, we're going to have a uh, waffle cone back. Yes, we are. All right, now our little machine is ready. All right, yep. now take some of that nonstick spray stratton. Here we go. Let's see, we're going to need. Okay. That's perfect. Now we're going to put about three quarters of a tablespoon of batter. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take much, does mm -hmm. it? A little bit goes a long way. We don't want them too thick. Delicate. Yes, very delicate. All right, so let's shut that up. We wait for the light. Uh-huh. This is a Pizzelli maker. Is that how you say that word? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. P Pizzelli? Pizzelli. Pizzelli. Let's say it with a little like Pizzelli. Pizzelli. A little Italian. Pizzelli. Oh, the light's sorty green. Let's peek. Oh. Whoa. Stratton, I really like to use these molds to help shape our waffle cones. And, uh. Got it? Yes. An idea. Asbestos. <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? It is hot. It's the oil. All right, as, as this cools. <laughs> <laughs> As this cools, it's going to crisp up. The secret to this waffle cone making is to, as soon as it gets cool enough but still warm so it's pliable, mm -hmm. is to kind of just make that hole a little bit smaller. Ah. So these are great. When we come back, Stratton is going to fill this wonderful little sweet cone up. Up next, Stratton is making a wonderful huckleberry sauce that is the perfect topping to his famous ice cream. Let's dive in. I'm so ready. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Now, Paula. We're gonna make a huckleberry topping. Now, huckleberries used to grow in, in the entire country. They're primarily now in Montana, Upper Northwest, is where it's a wild huckleberry. They're not cultivated. Mm -hmm. The difference between a huckleberry that we'll put two cups uh -huh. of it right in uh -huh. here. They look like blueberries. They do look Don't like blueberries, strat. but these are harvested in late June and July. Mm -hmm. We'll put that in there. We'll put a third of a cup of granulated sugar in there with it. Now, huckleberries differ from blueberries. Now, that looks good, There yeah. you go. They're more tart, uh -huh. and um, they have 10 seeds in them, as opposed to blueberries. Ten. Which 10 seeds in each one. They're a little bit firmer than blueberries. Uh -huh. the, actually, the word goes way back to when the English first came to this country. Uh -huh. If you call someone a huckleberry friend, it's something special. It's the right person for the right job or right friendship at that time. So it has a history before huckleberry Finn and twain. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of fresh lemon to that. Okay. That's, that'll be about a half a lemon and you just keep okay. stirring it up okay. there. Okay, I will. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I you need go. you get yourself. Yeah, it's okay. 
And then I'm gonna mix up a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch and a one and a half teaspoon of water. We mix that up to thicken That's it. That's gonna make it thick. Thicken it up a little bit. These huckleberries are beautiful. You kind of want that to come to a ball, don't you? We're gonna so put this in, that yeah. That cornstarch and water can immediately. You can bind it up. Uh-huh. Yep. Ready? Yeah. There we go. All right, and you'll want to stir that yep. good. This will tighten up on you real, real quick. All right, okay. so we're going to put this on top. We are, of some ice cream. Some of your ice cream. Ooh, is that some of your creamy vanilla? This is vanilla. Now we're going to add some of this. Oh, and we'll have two Gosh, spoons. Gosh, you do it just like I like it. Now, watch this, I'm using my Lots. hands. We'll use my hands yes. for this. Some pecans that were roasted. Some for nuts, some pecans. Pecans. Let's do a little garnish Sorry, there. Yes, a there. little garnish. Let's dive in. I'm so ready. Look, those hot huckleberries. Mm -hmm. Stratton melted. Mm. Now we're gonna make another one. We are? Mm -hmm. Okay, coconut, coconut with cones. This is coconut ice cream. Yeah. There. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Eating a ton of your ice cream. <laughs> Y'all, I've had a good time today. This has been today. so much fun. We always, always, always send best dishes and love from our kitchen to our friend's kitchen, yes, don't we? Definitely. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>